Buenos dias fellow gamers, my name is Sid, how are you guys doing? Today, I do have another banger video for you. And this time, it is about a Warframe that gives me Star Wars vibes. Volt, the Emperor, Prime. Why Volt? Great starting Warframe. Fun to play. Incredibly high nuking potential. Me, as a Star Wars fan, I can't help it. The first thing that came to my mind when I played Vault is this. Before we're getting started, that was pretty awesome, wasn't it? Like, I loved creating that. Dude, ah, oh, so cool. I'd like to start things off with the infused helmet ability of my choice. I've seen a bunch of people using Nourish. Don't get me wrong, Nourish is a ridiculously strong ability. However, I decided to go for something else. Since I'm a player that loves and enjoys Nova simply because of her ability to crowd control, I decided to use Terrify as an ability. The thing is, with this ability, you can not only strip armor, depending on your strength, you can also slow them down if you're using the Augment mod Creeping Terrify. Moving on with the builds, first I would like to show you one of the best companions in the entire game, the Panzer Wolpophila. What makes this companion so special? Well, it has one mod, like if you fall below 10% health, it's gonna heal you. Another great mod is Viral Quills. This basically inflicts viral status effects onto enemies. For the focus tree of choice, I'm using Matarai. Of course, you can use a Zenurg if you want additional energy, but I, I like to prefer using Matarai because it has this ability called Power Transfer. Basically, if you transfer from an operator into a Warframe, you have an additional 50% casting speed, which um, can be quite nice, especially if you don't have space for natural talent as a mod in your Warframe. Moving on, we have the Kuva Ogres. Fun fact, this is another Star Wars reference. I know we're full of Star Wars references today, and I'm loving it, dude. I'm gonna make this short and sweet. The Ogres is one of my favorite weapons, and I love using this weapon, especially in exterminated missions, missions where you can just like nuke, or um, the Elite Sanctuary Onslaught. For the build, real quick, I'm using Primally Merciless to increase the damage. We do have damage mods. We also have Heavy Caliber, which spreads the damage even more due to its um, negative accuracy. We have Nightwatch Napalm, which inflicts those Napalm explosions. And of course, a very nice Riven to top it all off. Here comes the main part, Vault Prime. First things first, for the Arcanes, I'm using Molt Augmented. If you're in a mission and you achieve a total of 250 kills, that is an additional 60% ability strength for the rest of the mission. So let's say you're doing Elite Sanctuary Onslaught or a long survival or whatever, you're gonna have that 60% ability strength constantly until the end of the mission. For the next Arcane, Molt Efficiency. This basically helps us to provide ability duration. You can also go for Arcane Energize, however I decided not to do that, and you're gonna see why when we come to the Shark Suggestion part of the video. For the mods, in the Aura slot we have Energy Siphon to keep our energy up, Prime Show Footed so we don't get knocked down, I know you can use the shield but I replaced that shield, yeah I'm gonna show that in a second. Over Senate because the range is like super important on him, Prime Continuity so we don't have a terrible amount of duration as we are using Fleeting Expertise to have that efficiency up. Umbral Intensify for some strength, Augur Reach of course for even more range, Blind Rage, this one is very important too, we need to have that ability strength because Overextended decreases our ability strength, which is why we need Blind Rage to make this up. Creeping Terrify because I love slowing them down. For the main mod, Archon Stretch, 45% ability range and abilities that deal electrical damage restore 2 energy per second over 5 seconds. So that is another source of energy for you. You could replace Creeping Terrify with Energy Nexus just to make sure you have more energy at the end of the day. But then again, um, we don't need it that much. For his main abilities, I didn't remove Shock as an ability. <laughs> what a shocker. I know I should have replaced this instead of my shield, because your shield basically prevents you from being knocked down and also gives you a critical damage multiplier. However, since we're all about having Star Wars vibes, I like having shock as it just represents the Emperor, right? You just like shooting lightnings and they just die, it's, it's pretty cool, right? 
Of course, I would never, ever, ever, ever replace speed in a billion years. Like, this is one of my most favorite abilities in the entire game. And of course, I would never replace this charge too, as this is going to be our ability that literally kills the ships or the enemies. If I wanted to make this build stronger, I should have replaced shock instead of the shield. However, I wanted to have something that's fun to play and can be quite strong at the same time. Moving on to some shard suggestions. One shard that is extremely important to me is the Ember Archon shard, as this shard, if it's Tarforged, um, it provides you with 37.5% casting speed. Remember, we don't have space for natural talent, so this is perfect. Since I'm not using Arcane Energize, we're also using another two Ember Archon shards right there. And this time we chose the 75% effectiveness on energy orbs. The thing about Energize is, it has a 60% chance of working once you pick up a energy orb, and it also has a cooldown. With this, or with those shards, you don't have a cooldown. Last but not least, I went for the Tarforge Violet Archon Shard, because it provides you with an additional 15% ability damage on enemies affected by electricity status. I mean, that's what our Warframe is all about, right? Inflicting electricity status, so that's kind of perfect. You could also go for Strength or Duration, those are the best things I would recommend. Like, um, if you don't want to use any of them, or if you don't have any of them, you know, just go for strength, go for duration, and you're pretty much good to go. On to some gameplay. Whether it is interception or mobile defense solo, exterminate, spy, you name it. or Elite Sanctuary Onslaught. This Warframe is truly a great all-rounder, and you can literally use him for any mission. I can also safely say that this Warframe is one of the most satisfying Warframes in the entire game, so definitely make sure to give this build a try, as I'm gonna tell you, you're not gonna regret it, okay? And that's gonna do it for this video. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you awesome people in the next one.